An apple tree is born to be an apple tree. If your apple tree purpose is an expression of guiding, coaching, empowering, enlightening, inspiring others, that's a very good indicator that you have what it takes within you to step into this path. When we speak and do from our apple tree self, from our natural purpose and path, we can feel it like an apple tree feels the sap rising, the blood of the tree rises when it's being authentic to help it to grow and then to give of its fruit. We can also look to find whether the sap is rising so that we know whether coaching and guiding, empowering and enlightening is a part of our apple tree purpose. Find and free your apple tree. More than 20 years ago, I was facing one of the darkest times in my life. My second daughter had been born with life-threatening medical challenges. She had her first surgery at 14 hours old and more than a dozen surgeries before she was two years of age. Our small family business run by my husband at the time was also collapsing. We were in debt We were about to lose our home to be repossessed. Debt collectors were calling and threatening us. I lived in an almost permanent state of fear and grief as friends and loved ones did their best to keep us afloat. To cope, I did what I'd learned to do from a very young age, which I call building my wisdom well, which is a combination of meditation, mindfulness, and master coaching methodologies. I sat with a pen and paper to coach myself to go deeper than my torture chamber surface mind to find clarity, support, and clear seeing from within. So to build my wisdom well, I created a bucket which is the questions that we ask, ready to send it into my inner well to find understanding and answers. The question that I wrote clearly on the paper was, what should I do? I'm sure you've asked that question many times yourself. I wanted to know what to do to cope as a young mother, as a very shy person. I wanted to know what to do to try and salvage our finances, and to survive these difficult times. I sent that bucket inwards and opened to translating clear seeing into words, into understanding. And the first insight that arose was that I was asking the wrong question, using the wrong bucket. This confused me, but I was desperate and willing to try anything. So I asked, well, what's the right question? And very clearly were these translated words, this understanding, that instead of asking, what should I do? I should ask, who am I? Now, I couldn't imagine how this was supposed to help me to pay my bills, save my house from being repossessed, be a better mother to my daughters. And then this symbolic idea formed that at the time I didn't know changed my life. It seemed like an ordinary moment, feeling desperate, building my inner well. But looking back, this was a life-changing, self-coaching moment. Because simply this idea was, if you were an apple tree and you didn't know you were an apple tree, how would you know what to do? And I contemplated this. And it made sense. Maybe I'm trying to make oranges. Maybe I'm struggling against my own apple tree self. I was incredibly shy, filled with fear. I had so many inner obstacles that perhaps the answer was to find and free my apple tree purpose. Because I realized in that moment that our purpose is not so much something we're supposed to do but it's about 
who we are and bringing that to everything we do. I was already a natural coach, but I was held back by shyness because as a four-year-old child myself, I had faced my own medical challenges. An egg-sized tumor had grown behind this eye. And at the age of four, I had surgery from ear to ear to remove that tumor. I'd had a near-death experience and glimpsed deep peace and deep freedom. But then I'd become confused, thinking that this was a place that I had to find again and became incredibly shy, depressed and homesick. And that's when I began my journey in learning to build a wisdom well. At the age of 13, I dedicated my life to wisdom because it's the only thing that felt like it would make this struggle of being alive worthwhile. Like somebody desperately thirsty in the desert, I wanted to know how to dig deeper than my noisy torture chamber mind to find the water of wisdom within. And this is what has given me everything that I'm grateful for in this life, including helping me to find my apple tree. From that day on, I coached myself, I meditated, I sent that bucket deeper into the wisdom well to free, to nurture and to nourish my apple tree, to discover who it was that I was when I wasn't afraid and when I was free. And it turned out that my natural coaching skills and being drawn to inspiration, to guiding, to communicating these subtle, clear seeings was a part of what I was born to be in a very ordinary way. I learned all those years ago to step up and to step in to being my apple tree self, to expressing my natural purpose in the world. Within three months, I had a steady flow of clients. Within three years, I was writing for magazines, publishing books, speaking on stages around the world. And I'm telling you this not because that's everyone's destination. The outward manifestation of this didn't matter to me as much as the joy and fulfillment of finally freeing my apple tree. Every master coach graduate that my team and I have trained is their own unique expression of their apple tree self, of their purpose. 